All right, I'm at the store. I need to make a graphic for a new shake that we're running. It's gonna be called the Joyful Almond, and it's inspired by one of these things. For graphics, I make a poster, a window cling, and a drive-through sign as well. So I'm gonna show you my process from start to finish. First off, I'm gonna make the item so I can get a picture of it. But I'm not gonna put in all the topping, like only what I need to photograph it and make it look nice. Okay, two scoops of chocolate. I will put in some almonds. And then we'll add our shake mix. Okay, here it is. I think I'm gonna take the photo today outside. Probably right here. Okay, now the whipped cream. I don't know how I wanna put this on. Okay, I'm gonna try taking a photo right here. I'm also getting some photos out here for like Instagram. Damn, I've literally been out here for like maybe two minutes, but I got what I need. So I threw this photo in Lightroom and I'm just making it as bright and beautiful as possible. I'm in Canva and I always make my first design on eight and a half by 11. If I can find a template I like, I'll start with the template and then customize it so that way it's unique. So this is what I'm landing on. I feel like it's fine. I could spend a lot more time on it, but like this gets the point across and we're not running this for very long. So I'm gonna copy and resize this in a 24 by 36 and a 20 by 24. I do have to make some slight tweaks to get everything to fit, but it's not horrible. Okay, so I order everything off of you printing. I'm gonna go to a past order and just copy it and just put no, I don't wanna use the same artwork. Okay, so here's my full order. This is my total with shipping. That was four window clings, one banner, and one drive-thru sign. But remember, these things can honestly last you forever if you take care of them. And that is how I make a graphic from start to finish.